I've grown raspberries for a long, long time, but I never thought of making tea from the raspberry leaves until I watched a video made by Cat's Cradle a couple years ago. Since then, I've been doing it, and I really enjoy it. According to WebMD, raspberry leaf tea is good for gastrointestinal disorders, heart problems, diabetes, and female disorders. So let's see how we make it. It's that time of the year again where I'm going to be pruning the raspberries. But when I do, I save the leaves and dehydrate them to make raspberry tea. Now if it's a big brown shriveled up leaf, I don't save it. I just save the green ones. A lot of people do this in spring. Um, they think that there's maybe more nutrients or whatever in the leaves, but I prune in fall, so that's when I do it. Okay, I got that bed completely pruned back and took care of the canes. You can also harvest leaves from wild raspberry canes. These should not be growing in my garden bed here, so I will be removing them, but it's perfectly fine to use these leaves. Just make sure not to use any leaves where pesticides have been used. I got a nice bag full of raspberry leaves. You're just going to want to wash your leaves. And I'm just washing them here in the colander. And then you can let this sit for a little while so it can drain off the leaves. But to be honest, if the leaves are a little wet, it doesn't really matter. You're putting in a dehydrator. And because you have so many leaves when you do this, it's okay to double book them, so to speak. You can put them on top of each other. Just continue doing this with all your leaves until you get your trays full. As you can see, some of these are pretty wet yet, but like I said, they'll dry fine in the dehydrator. And I'm going to leave them in the dehydrator overnight and then check them in the morning and see how it's going. Put all your loaded trays in dehydrator, turn it to your lower temperature, what you normally do herbs on. Overnight was just the right time. You can hear them, they're very crinkly and dry. So now I'm going to take them out. You can store the leaves whole, however I prefer to crush them up because that's the way they end up anyway. So I just do it with my fingers like this. I find I can get a lot more tea if I crush it as opposed to leaving it whole in a jar. So just continue doing that until you're done. After I crush the leaves, I actually put them back in my dehydrator. I put them on one of these sheets and I dehydrated another couple hours just to make sure everything is really, really dry. The worst thing is to have a whole batch spoiled because one of the leaves had a little bit of moisture and caused mold. All the dehydrated raspberry tea leaves fit in this one pint jar. I did really pack them tight. Let's make some tea. So in your ball infusion, or in this case it is actually a robot fusion, put a teaspoon of leaves, fold it up, Click it. Now isn't that cute? Okay, then we're just going to put it in this water and let it seep for three to five minutes depending on your preference. For me, it's five minutes. So will be back in a flash. 
timer went off, so now I'll lift up my little robot infusion strainer here, shake it, and put it in this little stand, and the tea is ready to drink. If you like, you can add a little sweetener. I'm adding just a little of honey, and this is really great honey. It's orange blossom honey. I got it while I was in Savannah. And it's funny, when I drink regular tea, like in the summer, let's say iced tea, I never add any sweetener. But for some reason, in hot tea, I prefer just a little sweetener. And of course, you can also put in a little milk if you'd like. So, I hope you enjoy a cup of raspberry tea. really tastes good. And please understand, it does not taste like raspberries. That's a different tea with artificial flavoring. This tastes more like traditional tea. Anyway, this is Prepper Potpourri saying, thank you so much for watching, and please subscribe and share the knowledge. Thumbs up if you like this video. Mmm, hits the spot.